I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now that we've had time to fully digest all of the implications of the new remotely assessed digital ABRSM music theory exam, I thought it would be a good opportunity to just talk about the exam and what I think about it and how we're all finding it. So there's no doubt it's been a big change and we're always inclined to think that change is a change for the worse, aren't we? Um, however, as the old saying goes, there's nothing so constant in life as change. So what sort of a change is it, do we think? Now we've had time to get used to it. And I think, I think the change is inevitable, really. And I notice that it's happening in other subjects as well. I know that uh, when you take financial services exams, they are remotely assessed in exactly the same way with all of the proctoring software and webcam issues and so on. So I just think this is the way it's going really, whether we like it or not. And there are pros and cons as with everything really. There are good points and there are bad points. The good points are definitely convenience in terms of taking the exam whenever you want within this parameter of dates. I think, um, being able to take the exam in the comfort of your own home is also another big plus. That's the same as with the remotely assessed digital performances as well. How are we finding it? And I think as a teacher, the hardest thing for me is that I just can't help. If somebody's having problems with software issues or can't quite cope with the technical issues, there is nothing I can do to help. That is completely outside of my control. And um, so on the one hand, as a teacher, that takes the burden off me. Not that it was on me in the first place, because at the end of the day, you know, I wouldn't go to the exam centre either. Uh, but it's hard as a teacher to be completely unable to help, really. I can't give advice because everybody's computer setup at home is different. Everyone's got different internet packages, router packages and so on. So the actual technicalities of the exam are sort of outside of my remit. But you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a music tutor. I'm not an IT technician. So you know, I wouldn't be able to anyway, really. I can just about deal with my own systems with help. Uh, so how am I finding it? finding these exams musically. And I think I have to say that although it's been a big change, music is always music. Music theory is always music theory. And if I feel that there are shortcomings, and I know I've said this before, then it's my job as a tutor to make sure they are filled in, in lesson time. And the biggest, I think, here is the, the lack of pencil to paper manuscript writing, notation writing and so on, which I think is a really important skill. And therefore, as a teacher, I will still insist upon that happening. And I know that my biggest moan in lesson times is always untidy manuscript, untidy notation writing. And it's just down to practice and so, I think it's really, really important that you just keep that going. You must learn to write music, write notation. But putting that to one side, I think, you know, as I've worked through the, the booklets and I've been teaching it and I've been entering people for their exams, it's still music theory. You know, music doesn't change, just the platform has changed. And actually, if anything, I do think it's made it a little bit harder. We tend to think of, you know, clicking on a screen and multiple choice often as being the easy option, but I don't think that's the case at all. It's so easy to get put off by a red herring, you know, and I think when you see a multiple choice option, you immediately start going to the options and trying to pick one. And that's not the way to do it at all. I really, really recommend that you first of all, look at the question, find the answer for yourself. You can have scrap paper in the exam, so long as you show it to the screen to show that there's no writing on it before you start. And just figure out the answer for yourself before you go to the options. That way you're not gonna be sort of tricked into ticking something that's sort of vaguely similar, but not correct. The other thing that I will say that I think makes it trickier for us is um, because now the marks are now out of 75, not out of 100, that means that 
each mark is much more heavily weighted. So if you lose a mark or two, out of 100, it's not so bad. Out of 75, suddenly that gets trickier and trickier. So just losing the odd mark is much easier to do because it's so easy to just tick the wrong box. And then those wrong marks are much more heavily weighted, much more important and so much more detrimental to your overall score. So you've got to be super, super careful and really keep your concentration levels up because it really matters more now each mark. And I think it's just not being lulled into that sense of just clicking a screen, easy peasy, job done. That is not the case at all. So do remember, I think the one thing that I found from all of this is it's still music theory. You still have to have the same knowledge. You've still got the same systems in place to answer those questions. Just answering the question itself at the final stage is different by clicking the option rather than writing the answer. And I do think that's a shame, although it's inevitable that's just the way things are going. And it does open up the world of opportunity, there's no doubt about it. But it does mean that we have to make the effort to keep our manuscript level sort of high, keep our notation writing neat, stay on top of it. And, and you know, what's more relaxing, what's more therapeutic than sitting with a pencil in your hand and scribbling some notes? You know, so just do that because you can, because you get to, not because you have to. But I think now we've had time to settle, to adjust, to gather ourselves, to, to smooth our ruffled feathers. I think we can say that we're still safe in ABRSM's hands. I still say that they are one of the foremost syllabus providers, the exam providers. I think they still have the kudos that we expect from ABRSM. They've just done a lot of changes very, very quickly and it's taken us all a while to gather ourselves. There may be bits we don't like, but it doesn't change the fact. Music's music, so crack on and we can do this. I hope that helps. Thanks for listening. Bye. <laughs>